Will a warmer climate kill more people? If the planet keeps getting warmer, does it mean you'll die earlier than you should? People are suffering. People are dying. Should you worry about a future where it's warmer than it is now? History tells us the real story. Heat does sometimes kill people, that is a fact. Extreme heat makes it much easier to sell the idea that climate change is causing more heat-related deaths. And I think it's becoming clearer and clearer that climate change is one of the greatest threats to human health. And the impact of heat on our health is one particular example of that. But nothing could be farther from the truth. In fact, during the last 50 years, heat-related deaths have dropped dramatically Human ingenuity in adapting to harsh weather is saving lives. Ignored in all the hype is the fact that frigid weather kills 10 to 20 times more people each year than does heat. Cold weather is directly associated with 1 in 15 deaths from all causes. Cold can exacerbate cardiovascular disease and respiratory illnesses, which are leading causes for deaths worldwide. Hot weather, on the other hand, is only linked to one out of every 250 deaths. Cold weather clearly kills more people. Right now are these rolling outages, these periodic blackouts that have been going into effect since early this morning. In February 2021, nearly 250 people died in Texas due to a single winter storm. No heat, we have no power to cook food. Power was out for days and people had no heat in their homes and nowhere to go. In hot weather, you can simply find some shade and drink something cool, and you generally recover quickly. Studies show that most people who die of exposure to frigid air could have lived up to 10 years longer or more. They were generally healthy, but the cold weather prematurely hastened their death. Cold weather also has a lingering impact on your health, and even those who are physically fit can take longer to recover from an illness in cold weather. Those who die from heat, on the other hand, typically already had existing serious underlying health conditions. Thousands of early deaths are avoided each year as more people move from cold northern states to the southern climates to escape the frigid winters. Older people fare better in milder winters. In addition to the health impacts, warmer air aids in prolonging growing seasons, which increases crop production and reduces famine. History shows that the colder periods in the Earth's climate were marked with starvation due to lower agricultural production. Warm periods in our climate have always been called climate optima. Civilization has always expanded and flourished during the warmer portions of Earth's history. Since the rise of the first great civilizations during the Bronze Age, there have been three previous great warming periods that were all warmer than our current temperatures. All three were associated with bountiful food and great improvements to the human condition. Each intervening cold period, in contrast, was associated with crop failure, famine, pestilence, and mass depopulation. The Greek Dark Ages, Dark Ages and the Little Ice Age were all very cold eras that led to horrific consequences for humanity. Common sense and history inform us that we should all feel lucky to be alive during a period when the Earth is getting warmer. You can rely on the experts at the CO2 Coalition to provide scientific resources to help you sort out fact from fiction, so you can celebrate this modest warming and more CO2 